eager to protect. Then let's get moving. You shall be sorry for meddling in my plans, he man. You shall be very sorry. Is what I like. Give me fruity pebbles and I'll let you ride my bike. Here, you love these fruity pebbles with grape flavor. Now's my chance to get tricks. The fruity part of that complete breakfast. After all, what goes up must come down. Sweet taste in, so it's tough to sog out. If MS chocolate candies go, there's bound to be some fun, you know. It Real chewy fruit. No, Frank, crunchy cereal goes. And Frankenberry's part of this complete breakfast. What about my marshmallows? That's so oodles of strawberry flavored marshmallows. Welcome to Television Topics. I'm Dr. Ralph. Today my guest is Phyllis Beebe. Mrs. Beebe, Dr. Ralph, I just love your show. I never miss it. I watch it every day and I am just so honored to be here with you. Thank you. Now, Mrs. Beebe, just what is your television topic? Well, Dr. Ralph, my five-month-old just loves to look at TV. In the afternoons when I'm watching my stories, he just lays there on the floor and he just stares at that TV screen. <laughs> Television is definitely habit forming. The earlier a habit is formed, the more it influences the individual's attitudes and behavior. I would think, therefore, that by allowing your infant son to stare at the television screen for significant periods of time, you are increasing the possibility that he may someday become a television junkie. <laughs> well, I think he just likes to see the movement and bright colors. Movement, brightness, and color all play a part in your son's fascination with television, but the key element in his growing attraction and possible addiction is the constant shifting of picture and perspective. Oh, you mean like this, and this, and this? <laughs> Not exactly. More like this. This and this. If you had paid attention, you would have noticed that the picture on the television screen changes or flickers every few seconds. Flickers? Uh, yes, flickers. Oh, I see. Do you? <laughs> yes, I think so. The interval between flickers varies, but averages mm, three and a half seconds. Cartoons, however, flicker more rapidly than any other class of program. Oh, you mean like those cute little blue Smurfs and those Care Bears? Smurfs, Care Bears, Alvin and the Chipmunks, G.I. Joe, Transformers, She-Ra, He-Man, they're all the same. You see, the flicker is there to maintain the interest of the viewer. It hooks the viewer's attention and holds him in its hypnotic embrace. The constant flickering of the screen is stimulating in a pleasant sort of way. Yes, doctor. Uh, that's what they mean when they say you're glued to the tube. Yes. In the language of psychology, television puts the viewer on a variable schedule of reinforcement. Variable because the interval between flickers is not constant. Reinforcing because each flicker is pleasantly stimulating. Well, doctor, do you think I should stop watching so much TV for my son's sake? I'd recommend it, but how about on your own behalf as well? You might use the time to read. Studies show that children who often see their parents reading become better readers than children whose parents rarely read. Oh, but I do read. I personally don't believe that a child should watch television at all until he can read, and read well. 
But after a child learns to read, there's no harm in letting him watch mm, five hours of television a week. Preferably programs that expand his understanding of the real world. Doctor, f five hours? Are you crazy? That's insane. I'm afraid Nobody that's all the time we have today. This to has been Television here? Topics. No. I'm Dr. Ralph. Please join me again tomorrow. When will your machines be ready to attack the fortress again? What's the hurry? The fortress sends men to seek out the pyramid of my mistress. That alone is reason enough. Who is this mistress of yours anyway? You shall know that when she has awakened the sleeping beast and spread darkness across Eternia. The fortress is only a small problem, Mask. The real threat is He-Man. Nice of you to say so, Metal Mouth. Playtime's over for you two. You said he wouldn't find us. But since he has... Yippee! That was quick thinking, Manny! Incompetent fool, I never should have trusted you!